team. Bob is back with another episode of Retro Hunting on the Kingdom of Retro Gaming. And boy, do I have a doozy for you today. Now, I filmed the stuff that I'm about to show you a couple of weeks ago because I've been having some problems with my phone and I couldn't get the videos off. But basically, my buddy Martin went online on eBay because he'd never heard of the Atari Jaguar before. And I showed him what it was. And he just like half drunkenly made a bid on an inbox Atari Jaguar with 10 inbox games. Uh, there were still seven days left, seven days left on the auction when he did it. So I think he assumed that someone else was going to outbid him. Nobody did. So we have got, well, he has got, it's not mine. Martin has got an Atari Jaguar inbox, but he's flown to the UK. So he has said that I could pick it up and that I could open it and play with it for a couple of weeks while he's away. So let's check out an inbox Atari Jaguar. Oh, the Holy Grail. Okay, so here it is, the beast. Now, this box is absolutely massive, but I assume it is mostly just bubble wrap or uh, like safety stuff inside. Uh, let's get down the sides. Ooh. This is tough to do with one hand. Hang on. Hold on one sec. Edit. Okay, we're in. Let's see what we've got. Oh my God. I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely so excited. It's not even mine, but just to see and hold one of these is going to be absolutely insane for me. Oh, hello, sushi. Oh, and a box for sushi to play with. There you go, go play with the paper. Oh my God. Oh, all the games are in box. Holy shit, the console is in the box as well. Oh my. I didn't realize the console was in box. Holy, holy, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this, this is, this is absolutely insane. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we've got. Oh my god. So, there we go. The controller inbox as well. These controllers are absolutely massive. There we go. Inbox. Is the whole thing in box? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's put this down. Ooh. Okay, let's check a look at the games we've got. All of them in box. Checkered flag. And these games are in amazing condition. Four engines. Oh my god, I genuinely can't believe that I'm, I, I'm actually touching these. Zoop, America's largest killer of time. Looks like a bunch of mini multi games. Again, box in absolutely amazing condition. Pop that down. How many games are in here? Holy fuck. Trevor McFur in Crescent Galaxy. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe this. Three. There's like ten games in here. More. Bubsy. Now I do know Bubsy. Never on the Atari Jaguar, but I know the I know the game. It's on a couple of other consoles. But again, amazing condition. This is this. It is just crazy. There we go. I war. Is that a racing game or tanks fighting or something? Oh my god. Again, box amazing. Slowly open. So how many games is that already? One, two, three, four, five. And there's still Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure. 
That looks pretty cool. Welcome to the jungle. I can't, I didn't realize it came with this many games and there's all of them in inbox. What? There's still so many. What have we got next? Iron Soldier. Nice. It's all in a day's work. So the Atari Jaguar was meant to be the first 64-bit console, but it was actually just two 32-bit uh, processors in one. Flip out. Is that like a 3D version of Frogger? This is absolutely wild. And we're still going. We are still going. Oh. White man can't jump. What? Free team tap, four player adapter included. Oh my god, don't tell me that's in there as well. Oh my god, it is! Oh my god. I guess it's like street basketball. Yeah, white men can jump. In the movie with uh, Woody Harrelson. And again, the box just. This is why it cost a thousand US, and this is why I couldn't afford it. So here's the, the team tap. So it's a multi tap. Yeah, look at that. It's a multi-tap that comes with the, so you can actually have eight player. That's pretty sick. This is just for four player, but you can go up to eight player. Wow, wow. And uh, what we got, what else we got? A couple more games. Dino Dudes. This is absolutely incredible. Welcome to prehistory. This kind of looks like a load runner slash Super Mario World kind of game. Again, I don't know anything about Jaguar games because I've never played one, never even seen one. Like, this is... Uh, this is just so amazing. Skiing and snowboarding. Hey, those graphics look pretty sick. I like that. That looks, that looks awesome. Two-player as well. So... I think that's all the games. There's one more. Oh, what's in here? Oh, maybe it's a, it's a Lucy. There's a game with no... Uh, what is that? Cybermorph. And it comes with some stickers or something. I don't know what they do, but... Look at the size of those cartridges. That's my hand. And I'm, I'm a pretty big hand. So like, that's... Cybermorph. So... That makes it at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in-box complete games. 12 games of Cybermorph, a multi-tap adapter, and a controller. And then we, oh my, oh my god, this is insane. Let me flip this round. Okay, we've just flipped it round. And this, but I just, ah. Uh, <laughs> I can't actually believe this is happening, but I've just seen the price tag, thirty nine ninety nine, which is so forty US dollars. I mean, I don't know when that price tag was put on there, but that's just over. That's like three hundred and twenty Hong Kong dollars, so thirty pounds basically. And these things are going for now a thousand. So that's thirty nine ninety nine, and uh, my mate Martin paid a thousand. Uh, granted, it included all the games and stuff, but. It just shows how, oh my god, I, can't, I, <laughs> I almost want to cry. Like, hold on. Let's actually take it out of the, the box, out of the box. Let's see what we can do here. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. This is better. Now we can see. Now we can <laughs> This is amazing. This makes all my other, I, I, it's not even mine, but just seeing this and being able to touch an Atari Jaguar in the box especially is just the first time I ever heard of the Atari Jaguar was when I saw AJ Styles, the wrestler, uh, buy one when he went out retro hunting with uh, Austin Creed, another wrestler. And now uh, to actually see one and have the box, to have it in my hands on my table, even though it's not mine, with a bunch of inbox games. This is the coolest fucking thing I've ever I've ever, I've, I've, ever, I've ever seen, literally. I thought the Virtual Boy was epic, but this is next level. Hold on, let's try and pull this out. Gotta make sure we don't harm the box in any way. 
か<笑> Look at that Now first of all let's just flip the box around See look at the box This box is in amazing condition as well Look at these games So there's a Jaguar CD I did not know about that I'm guessing it's like the Sega CD Kind of boost the graphics So we've got Doom Checkered Flag Alien vs Predator Battle Wheels These aren't on it These are just games that Come obviously with it But I mean When you have that stack Who cares about these ones Oh my god A full Atari Jaguar There it is There it is Jesus Christ, this is getting a little emotional somehow. This is a this is fucking amazing. Just look at the size of that controller. Absolutely massive. But look at the condition that this thing is in. You got your power cables and everything. Now, one thing, one problem we're going to have here in Hong Kong is RGB and SCART not an issue. That's no problem, but the power cable, it's from the US and it's a two-pronger, which usually means 110 volts. Uh, so we'll have to check because Hong Kong plugs are a bit different. You can see down here, we have the old uh, three-prong and I believe there's a different voltage. So uh, I'll get a power adapter or something. So that can go into uh, the Hong Kong power, so I don't fucking blow it. Imagine what would, oh my God, Martin would kill me. I would fucking hate myself if I did that myself as well. But let's have a look at this. Oh! <laughs> Atari Jaguar. Two control ports, got two controllers. It's in absolutely amazing shape. Absolutely amazing shape. I just, I genuinely can't believe I'm holding one. It's not even mine, and I'm just so excited to see it. A full Atari Jaguar in the box with 11 games and a multi tap and a second, like just, oh my god, this is the coolest. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Legit. An entire set. Of Atari Jaguar in the box, 11 games, a multi tap, an extra controller. I'm gonna make sure I have the right connector, uh, connecting plug for that, and then I'm gonna plug this bad boy in and I'm gonna play every single one of those games. I think Martin is gone to the UK for like three weeks, maybe a month, um, so I've got plenty of time <laughs> to enjoy this while he's away, and uh, I just I can only say thank you to him for letting me even open this and do a video on it because this is insane. I'm just going to get everything set out on the table now so you can see it all together and uh, just bask in the amazingness that is the Atari Jaguar. Okay, here it is, all laid out for everyone to see. This is the craziest thing I have ever seen. I've been retro hunting for less than a year and I've got like 20 consoles. I've got some cool ones. I've got a Panasonic 3DO FZ10. I've got a Sega Game Gear. I've got all the Nintendos apart from a Wii U. I mean, I've got PS1 to PS4. I've got, uh, I've got an Ouya for fuck's sake. I've got Leap TV and this is just the craziest thing I have ever seen. And again, it's not mine, this is my friend's. But to see this, to see, t t t what is it, 4, 8, 11, 11 in-box Atari games. And these are all in fucking incredible condition. Like, look at the fucking glare on these. Like, these are impeccable. And then to have a, a team tap, a multi-tap. So you can play four player on a couple of the games. Uh, which games was it that was four player? White Men Can't Jump, was it? No. Uh, I don't know. There's a couple of games that are four player. And just... So there's obviously uh, games that can be eight player too, which is amazing. Um, and I realized also the reason Cybermorph, I think, isn't in a box is because 
the Jaguar come is the same of cartridge included. So the box, I mean, again, just sorry if I'm repeating myself or stuttering. This is just so fucking mind blowing to me. This is in just, <laughs> I feel like I want to cry. A second inbox controller, the full box in impeccable condition. The controller, the power cables, the scar, the, the console itself is just magnifique, absolutely stunning. But 11 in box Atari Jaguar games. I mean, whenever do you see that? This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in the hunting. And I cannot wait to try some of these games out. So, uh, yeah, I mean, thank you, Martin, for letting me pick this up. Um, my cats, thank you as well for the box. <laughs> They're going to absolutely love that. Stay in the UK as long as you like, and I promise you I will look after this for you. Uh, I'll obviously uh, get the right adapter that I need and make sure we uh, get some game footage of some of these games. I mean, the ones that are really jumping out to me are Bubsy, obviously, Skiing and Snowboarding, Dino Dudes, White men can't pip. Okay, no, they they all they're all they're all just jumping out at me. It's just this is amazing to see, and I can't believe it's on my living room table. Um, but yeah, this is it. Atari Jaguar. Uh, it, it's not mine, but to actually see it here is just so amazing. Um, we're gonna whip out some of these games, and um, yeah, let's get some game footage going. Let's check out what these games are actually like because. I've never played this before, so I have, they could all be absolutely terrible games, but I wouldn't care. I mean, I have an Ouya, for fuck's sake, so... Yeah, this is the Atari Jaguar, complete in box, and I will catch you guys in a bit. Thank you so much. Peace.